All right, this here is Poker Chip video number eight. My name is Chris. This is my channel where I talk endlessly about poker chips. Now, if you've been watching my videos and enjoying my videos, well, this is more of the same, but this video is a little different because you may notice that a lot of times I do high-end chips and I say, these are high-end chips and by the way, there's no way for you to buy them. Well, if you are new to the chip game, if you are breaking in and you are looking for a high quality poker chip set, this is the video because I'm gonna clue you in on how you can get a GPI produced, Paulson factory made poker chip. These are the Jamaco Elites. And these are available right now for purchase on ApachePokerChips.com. There's a bit of a story behind these poker chips. Once again, PokerChipForum.com was the genesis of the story where people on that website, expert poker chippers, who are always looking for high quality poker chips, found that the company Jamaco or Jamaco, I'll put it on the screen, actually is selling some of their poker chips to the general public on their website. And it's a little bit of a workaround to figure it out. You gotta email them and all that. And also what they are offering is very limited in the color palette and also the edge spots. What you see right in front of you, this is the edge spots that they offer. And the mold is what they call a no mold or a lammer mold. So there's only one mold choice, lammer mold and one spot pattern and that's three white slashes and that's it that's all they offer but the cool thing about these chips is that they are super duper duper high quality this is one of my larger sets because these are very affordable for such a high quality chip made in the same factory as paulson's it's made by jamaco gpi is the owning company gaming partners international and these are the elite poker chips now if you go on to Apache, you'll also see that they have another brand of Jamaco poker chips called the Monaco. And the Monacos are cool. They're the exact same quality and very similar in design. I much prefer the Elites, and here's why. When you've got three giant white stripes on your chip, the last thing you really need is another giant white splash. And that's all the Monaco chips have that. They all have white in the middle. And so to me, when I see a splashed pot of these guys, all I see is a bunch of white. Whereas the Elites are solid color. And I think it just looks much more pleasing. Well, the Elites, I think, have a better selection for tournament chips in particular. The Monaco Tournament 5K is doo-doo brown as opposed to blaze orange for the 5K. Anyway, if it seems like I'm jumping around a bit, there's really a lot to cover with this line. I've got the tournament set. There's also cash game chips you can see in the background there. The way this line came about is at PokerChipForum.com. Tommy, the guy who runs the joint, was involved in getting an order from Jamaco for Poker Chip Forum poker chips that look like this. Ah, so they're very similar to the elites. Well, these came first, and these were only available in a private group buy. So I bought a small tournament set for one table, which was about 300 poker chips. And then, of course, the group buy was done and over with, and I loved the chips so much, and I said, geez, I wish I had bought more. Well, then the good guys at Apache came out with the Elite, I believe. And then now all of us can buy it. And the good news is, if you have some of these old group buy chips with Poker Chip Forum, uh, they work together beautifully. So actually, I have racks that are mixed and everything flows together. The one chip that doesn't match is the 100. The Elite is black and the Poker Chip Forum version is blue, so I had to get all new blacks because that doesn't, eh. I mean, it would work, it would work fine, but my OCD would get the better of me. Whereas, you know, when it's the PokerChipForum.com chip and an Elite chip like this, that doesn't bother me at all, because in stacks they look identical. A splash pot looks identical. Doesn't bother me at all. That's the banana. And we'll go here to the pinky. Here's the 500. And of course, we already looked at the blaze orange, the 5K. There we go again. So yeah, I have a mix. I have 300 of these types, and then I have almost 1,000 of these types. And they all mix and match just fine. There's no trouble. I did have to set these aside. I had 80 of these, and so they just sit in a drawer. Also, the 25K, very unappealing chip to me because it's so close to the hundo. This is a dirty stack issue. 
Not that the 25K would ever be in play with the 100, so it doesn't really matter. But again, that kind of affects my OCD. So I did keep, I managed to get an extra barrel of these. And so that's what I use now for the 25K chip. I do not use this one, I use this one. If I'm being honest here, I don't use this chip at all, I use this one. Just for my own weird idiosyncratic nonsense. Another chip that comes with the Elite line is this Bounty chip, which I think is rather lame, because <laughs> it's, again, it matches the 100, it matches the 25K, what's the point? Anyway, this video really is good news for you guys who have been pining for some high-end chips, because these are a great starter set for high-end chips. I can't recommend them enough. As always, 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 when purchasing, get samples, of course, but I think when you do, you'll really like the quality and uh, your players will love these chips. Mine certainly did. And I've been rambling on for way too long, so I'm gonna go. Uh, this has been great, fun as always. I appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe if you liked it and you want to subscribe, right? Anyway, I'll see you next time. Peace.